Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm going to show you today, uh, I've already done a video on this, it's already on my YouTube channel, about how to uh, treat scale on your cacti. Now scale looks like this. Bunch of little dots on them. Although sometimes they can look like uh, fungal spots. But fungal spots tend to uh, kind of grow in size a little bit quicker than these do. And uh, you'll kind of see like some, almost like a, a banding kind of going around it. But the other way to treat scale, uh, in my first video, I used a product called Spinosad, which is <clears throat> an insecticide, and it works good. Uh, but another thing that you can do is you can use rubbing alcohol. Now this one I've already, it was absolutely covered. I mean, that whole tip was just eaten up and uh, I've already treated that one. So all that you do, it's very simple. Take some rubbing alcohol, I've got some in here. It's wintergreen scented. I've never seen that before ever, but uh, Sometimes during COVID, I need rubbing alcohol on it just all the time. So when you go to treat scale on cacti, by the way, if you're going to use alcohol, if you're using Spinosad, it's totally okay to treat it and then stick it directly back into sunlight. If you're using alcohol, alcohol can cause uh, sunlight to magnify and burn up your cactus, or uh, maybe it's a chemical reaction. I don't know, but if you're going to use alcohol, take your cacti out of direct sunlight for at least 24 hours and 48 is better. If you're gonna coat the whole thing in alcohol, I've got this nice electric toothbrush. And you can see them just flying off of there. But uh, contrary to popular opinion, these are not uh, like a fungal infection. These are actually insects little disc-shaped insects that attach themselves to the cactus and they don't move once they anchor themselves in place. But they are insects, they are a parasite. But uh, as far as I can tell, these, and we also deal with uh, mealybugs and we deal with uh, spider mites and red mites and we get uh, aphids, scale insects, fungal infections, I mean, you name it, there's always something going on. It's always something sick that needs a little bit of treatment. Flying off all over the place. All right, and if you look closely, you'll still see some uh, some spots and things, but those are scars from a previous fungal infection, so these are not... Uh, no longer any scale insects left on it. Let me get the base real good. And when you use the alcohol, or even if you're using Spinosad, make sure you treat the top of the soil too. It kind of prevents them from coming back. But uh, I've had these as long as I've had a cactus garden, and uh, it just takes a little elbow grease. You get them off of there, your plants will thank you. Till next time. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it as far as the uh, getting the scale off your cactus is concerned. Is that my fucking toothbrush?